The Checkpoints is presented by pharmaceutical company GM Pharma. The first phase of Anaglia port project is slated for completion by 2029, with the port expected to receive its first ships in that same year, announced Prime Minister Cyril Kobahidze. According to Kobahidze, after signing of a contract with the Chinese Singaporean consortium, work is already underway, while a Belgium company will soon begin work on the actual deepening of the port. Anaglia port will dock its first ship precisely in 2029, the port will have a capacity of 600,000 containers per year and an investment of 600 million USD will be made during this initial phase, Irakli Kobahidze stated, adding this is also a crucial project for economic growth. He further noted that the railway modernization project essential for enhancing connectivity will be fully completed shortly. The capacity will increase from 27 million tons to 48 million tons. This project is also provocal importance for developing our transit capabilities, Irakli Kobahidze emphasized. In August 2024, construction cost index increased by 1.1% compared to the previous month, according to the preliminary data from the National Statistics Office of Georgia. As of the document, the change was mainly due to a 1% increase in the price of construction materials, which contributed 0.59 percentage points to the total index change. Compared to August 2023, the construction cost index increased by 7.9%. The latter was largely by the 29.7% increase in average monthly nominal wages of employees in the construction sector and by the 3.8% increase in the prices for construction materials, which contributed 4.59 and 2.29 percentage points to the total index change, respectively. Along with this, the construction cost index posted a 19.7% increase compared to February 2022. The National Bank of Georgia has announced that inflation remains below the target level. According to the National Bank, annual inflation in September further decreased compared to the previous month, settling at 0.6%. They also reported that the overall price level increased by 0.3% compared to August. The maintenance of inflation within the target range is largely attributed to the low inflation rate of locally produced goods and services, which in turn indicates the stability of long-term inflationary expectations. The decline in overall inflation compared to the previous month was further facilitated by the reduction in import inflation, core inflation, which excludes food, energy and cigarette prices from the consumer basket due to the high volatility stood at 0.8 percent. The low level of domestic inflation is driving a decrease in service inflation via the recent reduction in imported inflation primarily reflects the gradual fading of the base effect caused by fuel price increases. The most notable aspects of mixed inflation continue to be the annual decrease in electricity tariffs and antibiotic prices. Service inflation decreased to 1.6% in September. As mentioned, the gradual reduction in several inflation is large related to the finish of base effect. Additionally, the decrease in service inflation was significantly influenced by the reduction in interest costs in July-August, the National Bank of Georgia report states. No residential building is planned to be built on the former territory of Hippodrome, where the charity foundation Kartu is carrying out the works of arranging the city park. Willis Mayor Kahakalaza said in response to a relevant question. As he mentioned, the building construction project, the building construction project is being implemented on Tamarashvili Avenue and it has on contract with the mentioned area. The area has nothing to do with the racetrack the, because the mentioned project is being implemented on Tamarashvili Avenue. The former area of Hippodrome will be one of the best recreation space, which Medina Ivanishvili and her family are implementing as project. It will be one of the most important green spaces for relaxation, recreation and entertainment. We welcome the implementation of the mentioned project. The municipality will always support the arrangement of this space in 
every possible way, said Kahakawadze. As for the deadline for completion of the works, the mayor of the capital noted that certain changes were made in the project at the request of population. Some changes were made in the project. We also provide information about this to the public on the part of the population. There was discussion that, for example, Japanese and French gardens should not be arranged in the area and more space should be given to widows. This decision has been made and some corrections have been made in the project, Galadze said. A total of 9,000 tons of non-standard apples have been delivered by farmers to the collecting companies during this year's fruit harvest, resulting in earning of over 2 million lari, the Ministry of Agriculture of Georgia said on Monday. David Zitlidze, General Director of Rural Development Agency, said 12 companies were purchasing the product throughout the country, starting at 25 tetri per kilogram, with 10 tetri being provided as state subsidies. The aim is to ensure smooth sales from farmers and the delivery process will continue until December 15, he said while visiting the Coordination Center for the promotion of non-standard apple sales and a fruit processing enterprise, Shindisi, in the Shida Kartli region. Shindisi is one of the companies registered in the Coordination Center and has processed 4,000 tons of non-standard apples this year within the state program. Under the state program, 12 fruit processing companies are collecting the fruit at 14 points in Shida Kartli, Rajarle Chumi and Kwemuswaneti Kahetim, Tshetam Tianeti, Sam Tshetjawaheti regions of the country, said the ministry. In 2023, the average median earnings of employees in Georgia increased by 19 percent compared to the previous year and amounted to 1.238 lari, according to the preliminary data from the National Statistics Office of Georgia. According to the document, in 2023, the median earning is 29.9 percent lower than the average monthly earning. According to the economic activity in 2023, the highest median earnings we observed in the following figures. Fields. Information and communication, 1,960 lari. Public administration, defense, and social securities, 1,878 lari. Construction, 1,810 lari. Mining and querying, 1,705 lari. Financial and insurance activities, 1,600 96 lari. According to 2023 data, the median earnings are lower than the average monthly earnings in all sectors. As of October 7, 300,000 tons of grapes have been processed in Georgia, setting a record in the history of independent Georgia, according to the Ministry of Environment, Protection and Agriculture. The grape harvest is nearing completion in Kaheti and has already concluded in Raja. Currently, harvesting is actively underway in the Chomi region. Of the total grapes processed, 296 1,000 tons come from Kaheti, 1,700 tons from Raja, 304 tons from Lechome, and the remain from the wine growing regions across the country. The revenue from grape sales has reached 450 million lari, with 20,000 wine growers participating so far. A total of 486 wine companies and wineries have been involved in the harvesting this year. To support farmers ensure grape quality and promote the stable development of the wine industry, the Georgian government is providing subsidies in Kaheti region companies paying at least one lari per kilogram for Katiteli grapes are eligible for state subsidies. Accordingly, from September 13, Harvest Management Company is purchasing Saperavi grape from farmers at 1.50 lari per kilogram. In the Racha region, companies that pay at least 8 lari per kilogram for Alexandroli and Mujuretuli grapes grown in Huanchgara microzone will receive a subsidy of 4 lari per kilogram. The Checkpoints is presented by pharmaceutical company GM Pharma.